Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm uh, Patrick Harris. I'm the chairman of the National Committee of the ASP, and uh, I'd like to welcome you to the proceedings of the 2021 American Solidarity Party National Convention. Uh, before we go any further, uh, I'd like to introduce Drew Dixon, who will perform our uh, customary invocation. Drew is the Minister of the Church of Christ at Federal Way in uh, Federal Way, Washington, and is a member of the ASP. Uh, Drew, uh, thank you for being here, and uh, I'll let you take it away. Thank you. Let's begin in prayer. Oh Lord, we thank you for the opportunity this weekend to gather and dream about our common life together. As we gather, I'm reminded of the words from Psalm 127. Unless the Lord builds the house, the laborers build in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. So God, as we enter into this time, we ask that you would enter with us. And as we work together for a more perfect union and a more just society, we ask that you would work with us and guide our work. We pray for all who will be speaking this weekend. Grant them wisdom, and clarity as they share. And through them, we ask that you would lead and guide us where we most need to go at this moment in history. We ask that you would also open our hearts and our minds as we learn and dream. We ask that you would help us to listen to one another without judgment. We ask that whatever ideas we hear this weekend that are rooted in your kingdom, that they would also take root in our hearts and shape the kind of people that we are becoming. We ask that you not only open our hearts and minds, but also move our hands and our feet. That from here, we might reach out to family, friends, neighbors, and create community wherever it is needed most. Help us throughout this time not to be overwhelmed by grand visions and big plans, but help us to be faithful to where we are with whoever we're there with. Show us our next steps in renewing the world and help us to take them. At this time, I just want to offer up a, a moment of silence. And, and during this moment, uh, I invite you to just become present to all that will follow this weekend uh, and, and perhaps offer up your own prayer wherever you are right now. Oh Lord, as we continue into this weekend, we trust that you go before us and guide us. Help us to find common ground as we work together for the common good and by all means, give us some common sense as well. We pray all of this in the name of Jesus who in solidarity came to dwell among us that we might have life and life to the full. Amen. Thank you, Drew. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh, we have some great events planned for everyone uh, starting tonight and going on through the rest of the weekend. Um, but first I wanna say just a few words about uh, the state of the party, the progress that we've made in the last year and uh, what we look forward to in the coming year. And then uh, I'll, I'll let others uh, more interesting than I take it away. Uh, last year was the second presidential election that the ASP has participated in. We were on the ballot in uh, eight states, uh, as opposed to only one in 2016, which meant that uh, more than 50 million Americans uh, had a ballot in front of them with our presidential ticket on it. Uh, we got eight times the number of votes for the Brian Carroll campaign uh, that we got for the Maturin campaign, so over 42,000 people um, 
voted for the solidarity candidate. And that shows we've come a long way, but also still have a long way to go. And uh, we haven't been idle uh, in the months since then, uh, due in large part to the buzz surrounding the campaign. The party's membership has more than doubled in the last 12 months. Uh, our financial picture as an organization has never been better. And uh, as a result of that, we've been able to uh, begin hiring paid executive staff to take on projects that we've always wanted to do, but couldn't quite manage with just volunteer manpower. Uh, we started a new policy fellowship program, and you'll be introduced to uh, some of those talented young people in the movement uh, later this weekend. And uh, we're organizing new state chapter committees all the time. We're working toward official recognition of the party in a number of different states. And uh, we also have uh, multiple party members serving in elected local office now, um, and you'll get to meet some of them a little bit later this evening, which is especially important because uh, while the presidential races may get the most attention, uh, we have a bottom-up vision for renewing this country, and uh, local, politi local politics is where a lot of that is going to happen. On the, uh, on the campaign trail, we've been sustaining our momentum. We competed in three state and local races uh, in the off-season uh, simultaneously this spring. And uh, later this year, Dr. James Hanink will be our standard bearer in the recall race for the governor of California. Make sure to check out his uh, keynote address uh, tomorrow evening. So uh, in short, a lot of exciting things are happening, but it has to be pointed out, uh, even with all this growth that we've seen, most Americans still haven't heard of us. And uh, that's a challenge for us to meet, but it also means that there's a tremendous opportunity for us to fill a void uh, in the politics of the United States. Uh, because one thing that we know from our experiences of the last few years is that there are people out there by the thousands and tens of thousands, and I believe millions, uh, people who are looking for something different in politics, and in particular looking for a vision like ours, uh, pro-life, pro-family, pro-worker, pro-environment, religious liberty, social justice, economic security, peace on the world stage. If you value those things, uh, we've really cornered the market on a platform that lets you vote your values uh, without compromising them. So when we get the word out, people listen, but we have to get the word out. And that's where all of you folks at home come in. Uh, we need you and we can't do it without you. Volunteer, donate, tell your friends, share our online content, write your local paper, whatever you can do. Everything starts small, um, but we are the fastest growing political party in America and people like you are the ones who will keep us growing and allow us to make a difference uh, for our country. And with that said, um, I will turn over the mic to Albert Thompson, our vice chairman, uh, to introduce our first guest of the evening, 